Good afternoon everybody, it's Corey here and I am now in Bangkok and I've just arrived, it's almost 6 p.m. There was a three hour airplane delay at Hanoi. So unfortunately, I was supposed to arrive at two, now I'm here at six, the sun's going down. I was hoping to get in like at least three hours of daytime walking around and exploring today, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. So it looks like it's gonna be a nighttime walking around and exploring. So this is essentially a 24 hour visa run to Bangkok, Thailand. And uh, I'm super excited, first time in the country. Let's check it out, guys. What's up guys? I am getting all kinds of frequency lines on this video. I cannot adjust the frame rate to match the speed of the lights. Anyway, I am checked into the Sakura Sky Hotel and it's a normal hotel but they also have one area that's all capsule rooms. So here's what the capsule units look like. Very kind of futuristic. Reminds me of um, designs from Dragon Ball. Down over here, got my key card. Okay, check this out. Ta da! Comes with blanket and towel and some water. And there's a fire extinguisher. Let's get in here. There I am. Uh, there's a little TV here. Here we go. Turn that off. So it's got like all kinds of stuff here. Headphone jack, USB charger, there's stuff controlling the backlight. Um, mirror light. So we can see there, now it's just all blue. And there's also these vents for AC. It's a little bit noisy, but it's all good. It's like Christmas winter wonderland up in here. And this is the largest polar bear I've ever seen. Things almost three stories high. Okay, I got off at Siam Station. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna walk from here. Maybe it's gonna be a 30 minute to 40 minute walk. I have no idea, but I think that's part of the fun. I'm just winging it and uh, let's see what we find on the streets.
time. I'm in the back of a tuk-tuk and we're gonna go to Kaosan Road. Walking would just be way too long. Uh, I have no idea about distances between neighborhoods. Apparently I would be walking for two hours. So, yeah. anyway, um, here I am in the back of a tuk-tuk. How do I describe Kaosan Road to someone who's never experienced it before? Like, where do I even begin? This road is the number one backpacker hub of the world. There are so many hostels and motels, cheap food, and tons of alcohol here. There's also a lot of souvenir shops aimed at tourists, as well as quite a few places to get a good Thai massage. While it's not the best street food in Bangkok, there's definitely plenty to choose from to fill your belly. I didn't film it, but I ate some durian and chicken skewers here. They were alright. Warning! The following scenes include the real sounds from the street. It's loud like really loud, so make sure you turn down your volume right now. Clubs and bars spill out onto the street every single night, turning it into a giant block party. This was filmed on a Monday night. If you're not into the whole drinking and dancing in public thing, you can easily just wander down a side alley onto one of the many other side streets. There's plenty of cafes, restaurants, lounge bars, and much more away from all of those loud clubs on Khao San Road. You can even enjoy some street performances, like these b-boys. I was able to say I've seen and experienced Khao San Road. It's definitely a touristy place, but it's just one of those places you have to visit and cross off your bucket list. One time was enough for me. This place looks awesome. I love dinosaurs. Yo, good morning everybody. It is my second and last day here in Bangkok. My 24 hours is coming quickly to an end. So I ended up staying out at Khao San Road area until like almost two in the morning. Got back to my hotel, slept. I missed my alarm to wake up at seven and I slept until 9.30. Uh, took
took a shower, got ready, and now it's almost 11 o'clock, and I have to leave for the airport, um, essentially like at 12.30ish, I need to just like head there. So what I've decided to do, since I only have essentially an hour and a half, is to just wander around and you know, check out this main street here. It's called Sukhumvit Road, and I've been walking along it just like checking out stuff, kind of going in the direction of the airport line. So, you know, when time comes, I can just go right there. But uh, I did pick up some pomegranate juice, and um, I've only been here a short time, but I can already tell that I really like Bangkok. The weather's nice, it's not too humid. It is humid, but not too humid. And um, yeah, it's just a very modern and clean city. It's very clean. Uh, people are super respectful. Let's continue walking around and just check out the street scene here in Bangkok. So I'm noticing this kind of like scribble graffiti stuff, but it's actually more like a diagram or a map. I see like hotels and cafes, temples and other stuff listed. I think this is someone's this is street art. I've seen it on um, like power boxes and bus stops, mailboxes, and this is one whole wall done by this person. I feel like they have a very strange brain that's wired out like this. So when they do like mapping, this kind of mapping is really awesome to see. So I'm walking under the airport line. You can see it right here above my head. So this is the airport line. It goes all the way to the airport. So I'm kind of like going in the direction of the airport, probably in the next one or two stations that I come by. One of them, I'm gonna actually get on the train and go to the airport because it's that time. Uh, I wish I could find food. I walked along that one road and there wasn't a lot of food. Um, and underneath this uh, track here, there's all these little restaurants and stuff, but they're all closed. So I'm probably in the completely wrong area for street food and restaurants and stuff, but it's still cool to come out here and check out this kind of like a back road. And uh, yeah, this is what I like exploring and stuff, but I am hungry. So we'll see what I can find. So I found this uh, covered market. See all those tents? There's a, a lot of them that go down the length of uh, the track right there. And I went through it thinking that there would be a place to eat, but uh, yeah, the market is closed. All the lights are off, and there's nobody in there selling anything. All right guys, I've been walking for well over an hour, and that's like essentially all the time I have. Like, as you can tell behind me, just like everything's closed, I don't know. And it's like that on the other side of the street too. So I don't know if it's specifically this street on a Tuesday afternoon is just always like this or if it's some kind of a special off day. So what's going on on Tuesdays? Why is it like this? Why can't I find some? I guess it just comes down to that uh, I'm in the wrong area. I don't have time to go to any other area. And yeah, I guess that's it. So this is the token for the airport rail line. It's got a sensor inside. This is pretty much just like a single fare. So I'll swipe this now, and then when I arrive at the airport, um, I deposit it into the machine and it keeps it. large this uh, departure area is for you check in very cool man 
hand, these departure uh, terminal wings. Like this is the E-wing where I have to go to my gate, E6. Look at the canopy on this thing. That is so cool. This is what we saw when we landed. I got a small taste of Bangkok and I really, really thought it was cool. Um, I could definitely see living here, possibly. It's, it's a very wonderful city. It's very modern. It reminds me of a fusion of like Tokyo and Taipei and maybe Hanoi. I don't know, but it's like a fusion. And it's very modern, it's, it's very clean, the people are so nice. Yeah, and it's big, it's way bigger than I ever expected it to be. Hence why walking was such a big challenge. And, um, but I did get to see a lot. Didn't get to eat a lot at all, which is very unfortunate, but there's always next time. So I'm at my gate and we're gonna be boarding soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't, check out my social media links down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.